Good afternoon, more Medic One today. Hey! We've got a uh, flat on Spot the Shop Truck. And <laughs> we are going to uh, show you how to plug a tire. Got my plug. And basically, what you gotta do is find the obstruction. And if you look, I think I found the nail right there. Now, if this was in here, that's okay. This is pretty good here. <laughs> but if it's over in this area, you might not be able to uh, to fix it. <laughs> Basically, what you want to do is pull out the nail. And then, the no, the air ain't going to run out, mama. <laughs> run your reamer in. go get that right there and then we'll get our plug and we'll plug this tire get your plug fed through the tool here and what is that a piece of plastic on there yeah Pull it through halfway, about like that right there. Pull out your reamer and then shove this in. You want about maybe half inch or so and then release it like that. And you can trim it off if you want to, but since it's not really in the tread, I'm not going to worry about it. You can use this method to uh, plug lawnmower tires as well. And ATV tires sometimes won't work because they're so low pressure tires. Always use safety, always chalk your wheels, set the parking brake, stuff like that. But if you have any questions about how to uh, plug tires, let me know. More Medic One. Y'all have a good day. Always inflate your tires to the recommended specs. Uh, when you go aftermarket with your tires, sometimes, for instance, these are six ply tires. When you buy the truck new, it comes with four ply. These are Cooper Discover STs. Uh, if I put 32 pounds of air in these six ply tires, they they look freaking flat. Uh, the tire says on there uh, max inflation is about 65, so I'm gonna go 45 and leave it at that right there. I haul uh, heavier loads with this truck, so I went with the six ply tires. But anyway, if y'all have any questions, let me know.